Hello everyone. I get asked almost every week what is the best digital mode and which mode I should start with. Okay, this question I get at least once a week. Somebody asked me, I want to start digital mode. Which mode I sh should I choose? Okay, this is not an easy question to answer because it all depends a very personal aspect of your hobby. Okay, first question is where are your friends? If they're all in D-Star, well, there's no question about it. Buy a D-Star, okay? So this is important. So the first thing you need to know is where are your friends? The second thing is, is there any digital repeater in your region? So if you don't know, you may buy not the correct mode, okay? And end up that you can't use your HT or your mobile radio in digital because there's no repeater in your region, okay? There should be a re repeater in your region, but maybe a certain one is not available. As the three most popular mode that you will find in AM radio, as with repeaters, it will be DMR, D-Star, or C4FM, which is the Yezu System Fusion. So that's the three popular mode in AM radio. And so you need to know if there's some repeater available in your region. Another thing you need to ask is how much you want to invest, okay? Because if you like it and you have a good first experience, you probably end up buying all of them anyway, okay, over time. But if you want a good exper experience right from the start, so you need to choose the right mode. And many people go and, and buy a DMR radio at first because it's the lowest cost that you can get for a radio. Although there is some other radio like the FT70 here that is the um, uh, C4FM Yezu Fusion system that you can buy for low cost. But most people, if you start with DMR, you will find that it's the most complicated one to start with because it's, it's meant for commercial and it's been adapted to the AM radio world uh, by AMs, but it is still the most complicated radio to program in, in, in all case, okay? But there is a solution, okay? Unless you want to buy tree right away and you want, it, <laughs> you want to be able to use digital radio and you answer, you have no idea about the question we just talked about, well, you can start buying the open spot tree. So today I'm going to review the open, open spot tree, which is the third generation of hotspots from Shark RF. They made the open spot one and they made the open spot two which is very similar to the open spot tree so you will find all the improvement in this one in this one as well but they also added some new hardware so if you take a look at it okay you can see that is quite bigger than the open spot 2 because there is a battery into this one so they included the polymer lithium ion battery 1200 milliamps inside of it okay so it's completely standalone okay as you can see, there is a LED and it's, they say it's good for 10 hours and that's about it, okay? I test it on, on, in the shack here with some activities and it can take all day, okay? So it can go all day. There's also here two button, okay? There's the, still the Wi-Fi button, so you can put in AP mode, connect to it, and then from the web interface, which is available on any mobile device, okay, which is work and you'll sh you'll be able to connect to it and from there you should be able to configure wi-fi network your wi-fi network and add up to five wi-fi network uh, that you can connect to and then when you turn it on it will connect to the strongest signal that is available to the hot spot also plus the battery they included the amb chip which is a vocoder it's the same chip that you will find in all those three radio okay to do digital mode, but they use different pin on the chip, okay, depending on the mode. But on the open spot tree, they use the chip to transcode between modes. So if you come back to the beginning of the video when I was asked which mode to start to, well, if you have the budget to buy a hotspot with a radio, well, you should start by one digital radio, doesn't matter which one, okay, and buy an open spot tree because this one can transcode to all the other digital modes. So you can connect at a distance to uh, reflectors and many uh, AM radio digital networks. Okay, a reflectors is actually a repeater in the digital in the IP world. Sorry. So this is 
very very good we were able to transcode with this one okay between dmr and c4fm using software implementation but it was not it's not as good as hardware okay this will give you better quality better stability and 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 it will actually be transparent when you use it so people you won't know that you are actually transcoding from another radio and what's great is you can do all the three modes with any of these radio okay so this is very very cool so it's right inside there so that's a great improvement they also added a beeper speaker inside of it so you can actually have the status that it will beep give you some status even morse code telling you which profile there's five profile available on the DDS spot like the open spot 2 so this is the main difference between the open spot 2 and this can save you a lot of money doing the transcoding at first to go on any mode so you won't be lacking any opportunity or QSO if your friend QSY let's say you're in D star the QSY in C4 FM well you can follow even though you have only one radio which is great so let's go very quickly to the configuration and the web interface and we'll be back after with some testing and a final. This is the OpenSpot 3 interface, okay? As you can see, it has the same menu tab here and the same left and right menu as the OpenSpot 2, okay? So it's very, very similar, same concept here. You can also change the color of the OpenSpot 2, but I left it blue like this and put this one in the dark color so you can see the difference. The first thing that you will notice is the battery indicator. If you go with your mouse on it, it will give you the battery uh, charge, okay? So then you can click on it and it will give you the status right here. So in the status page, it is the same as usual. So you will have all the activities going on here. If you activate the, the advanced mode, okay? So you will have a little bit uh, more option. I don't know this time, uh, yet you have the log. That is going to disappear okay so when you activate the advanced mode in most tabs it will give you some more option here you have the connectors in the connector what you can see here is i'm connected to fcs reflector which is a c4fm yeju system fusion mode digital mode reflector but my modem is in d star that means that the radio i have on my right right here the kenwood radio is set on the right frequency of the open spot tree at 433275 it is set in dv mode which is digital mode in d star and on the open spot 2 on your left here i have the ft70dr set at 434325 which is the frequency of the open spot 2 for the test okay and i have it is connected on the same room as the open spot tree but it is native in c4fm okay so we're going to do the transcoding between the two in a few moments. So we're connected in the same reflector. If you want to switch mode, you can come here and go, let's say in DMR, and the modem will be still in D-Star. So if you only have a D-Star radio or a DMR radio or only one C4FM radio, you can actually do all those modes using one radio as long as the modem it is set on the right mode uh, uh, for you, okay, so for the radio you want to use. Okay, so let's go back to the FCS. Okay, so you need to do save so it will switch. Okay, so I'm connected on this reflector, the same on the open spot too, but we will come that later on. Here's the modem setting. You also have some setting here. Okay, for your profile, there is five profile that you can recall with DTMF. Okay, I've shown that before in another video, but it is the same concept. So you have uh, uh, five profile you can save you can also 
um, do some settings right here. But if you want to, if you go to advanced, you can actually do advanced setting for the transcoding. Okay, so sometimes one radio, the audio is not loud enough, so you can do adjustment. Okay, so I didn't try it, didn't need to try it, but uh, this is available. Okay, and then you have your network status. You still have, you can configure up to five. SSID for Wi-Fi, okay, that you will keep in memory. So if you add, if you put it in APs mode, uh, like shown in the article, well, you can actually, using the AP mode, connect another Wi-Fi, going through the interface, and that's it, okay. And so it will add up up to five SSID right here, okay. So this cover pretty much the web interface. You can see uh, my video on the Open Spot two uh, and uh, how it works, okay. So I did do a demonstration of that in the past. So let's do the transcoding, okay, between the C4FM radio connected to the open spot 2 that is in C4FM connected to the C4FM FCS300 server. On the right there I got the open spot 3 that is connected to the same server in the FCS C4FM server uh, on port 00 on FCS003 and you have the D-Star radio right here uh, at the same frequency as the open spot tree hold on i'm gone you can see right there so let's transmit okay so let's go instead as we're gonna see and let's do the a2 pv testing the a2 pv testing This concludes this video. I hope you did enjoy. And if you like, please do a like. That is very appreciated. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Bottom line, the open spot tree is very cool. It can save you a lot of money. It's not that much expensive, about $50 US than the open spot two. And this one can actually transcode anything. So it does work the price. It's very stable. They prove over time to be very reliable as well. They do frequently uh, firmware update, very easy to use, web interface, no complicated, no SD card that can give you some problem. It's very, very nice, a very good hotspot, probably the best right now in the market. So if you need an hotspot, you're starting in digital, if you invest in this one, okay, the open spot tree, you won't regret it and you will be able to experiment many digital mode with only one radio, which is great. On that, I'll say 73 and catch you some other time.